Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. So yeah, without much surprise, we started to drop. Um, let's see if that is substantial and sustainable. It seems to be. We made the first lower low here. Um, broke out of the ascending wedge. In the last video, only a couple of days ago, we talked about anybody who is long could start to think about profit taking because I believe that this move to the upside is getting close to the finish line. Yeah. Um, we reached channel resistance here as well, or at least the resistance of the uh, ascending wedge. And um, in the last video, we were exactly here where we saw this red candle. And uh, at the time, we didn't have any evidence that the move up was already finished. But with a drop below the trend line, that was the first signal. And then making a lower low is the next signal. And we currently don't see any bullish reaction. We are still above that wave four low. I mean, anybody who wants to wait could wait for that confirmation. But my assumption would now be that we are starting to drop below that wave four low as well. And that we have a really good chance to get into this support area that I already put on the chart in the last video or videos. Um, just to remind everybody what kind of support area that would be. That is a trend reversal area. I might need to adjust that very slightly. Maybe there were one or two price moves since the video. So it would be between $1,727. That is the 50% retracement and the 78.6% FIP level at $1,665. That is the area where I would expect ideally this wave two to get into and to move out of. I'm going to remove now the alternative um, from the chart. That was um, the an A, where were we? A, an A, B, C pattern. Not much different, but because we made that higher high here, already in the last video actually, I'm gonna go here with my primary count. That we moved up in five waves, one up, two up, three up, four down. Well, two was down, one up, two down, three up, four down. And the wave five here as an ending um, diagonal, which, um, Yep, seems to be working out so far. So five waves up in wave five of one and now ready for that wave two retracement. There's a few different ways how this could be counted here, but it doesn't really make any difference to that um, to the current decline, which I think has started now in wave two. So unless we now substantially rally above 1837, my assumption is we're gonna come down here in wave two. Obviously, that would mean that um, an ABC correction has started, which, let me just put that on the chart, which would be in five waves down A wave, moving up in B and coming down in C. That will be a very important area here, yeah, as indicated here between 1665 and 1727, 1728. That is an area where the idea that we could have finished the bear market down here in the yellow support area, yeah? the idea that um, this really is finished will be stress tested. Because we've got five waves up, all good with that count. Yeah? Uh, looks a bit ugly, but it's all good with that count. We've got five up. It's um, the overall movement here is not a diagonal. The whole move can be counted as an impulse. And we're now looking at ABC. And if this support area is really holding, that will be a very, very decisive area then we could expect a reversal here and a move up in a wave three. So the five waves up, that's always only the first signal that things are changing. Yeah? Um, the retracement and the stress test in wave two is the next confirmation that we need that the trend has shifted. And um, yeah, and that's also usually why there's no reason to FOMO. I know some people who might've missed to enter here in the long-term reversal area. Um, we're getting a bit nervous, but um, the idea is that in this wave two, we are gonna come down nearly to the same levels that we, re that we were in in the time between September and the beginning of November. So it's usually another entry point. Yeah, if this level holds, then we've got a really, really good setup here for further continuation to the upside and the way it would ideally then work out, we would move up in a wave three, move down in four, move up in five, um, we can let at the moment, you know, so roughly formulate here some targets for this wave three to the upside. Um, only roughly at the moment, because we don't really know where exactly the wave C is going to go to, but let's keep on the lower end. So we would look at the wave three to get into the region between 2028 and 2113, ideally. Then a wave four down and a wave five up, 
where we might look at 2250. So it's getting interesting. Yeah, it's getting interesting where we might actually make new highs. Um, yeah. So yeah, this could really be that last significant wave here to the upside that we're working on. Um, a wave five of wave five of wave one. So real stress test, very, 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 very important um, area. Maybe the last significant area to get in and start a significant long trade before we get that rally. Of course, no guarantee that the support level is holding, but what it is, it is a high reward, low risk trade setup if it works out. Yeah? So it will be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this area. Okay, and that's my update about gold. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.